Ugh, ads are such poop. Subscribe to ACAST Plus now to skip ads and more for just $1 a month. Click the link in our show notes to learn how. And hey, we're on Patreon too. Your support helps cover the cost of running a podcast. For $2 a month, you can get early access to all our episodes ad-free, plus bonus episodes exclusive to Patreon subscribers only. Visit patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse to sign up now. Today Ticks is your one-stop shop for theater tickets with the best prices on tickets to Broadway and beyond. Today Ticks has Broadway tickets up to 40% off, which makes it easier than ever to see that show you've always wanted to see or discover something you'll love just as much. Book your tickets in advance or even day of if you're feeling spontaneous. Visit todayticks.com slash comedy ticks or download the Today Ticks app today and get $20 off your first purchase with code comedy ticks. Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys. We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Do you remember what happened yesterday? Uh, let's see. Eliphaz was going on about something. Right. <laughs> I mean, according to the uh, subtitle thingy, yeah. he was rebuking he Job. Rebuking Job. Okay. Well, probably because if you, if you have all this bad shit happen to you. Mm-hmm. Then you deserved it. Well, obviously. Obviously. You can't, you can't, God's not just a dick, right? I mean, that's what I hear. You think, that's what you, that's not what I have read. <laughs> no, no. Uh, that's not what you have read. That's not what I that's have what read I have either. Heard you read. Right. But I'm just saying, like, according to the people around me oh, who those, claim to have read. Those people who say, he's, but he, no, he's a dick. No, he's totally a dick. And yeah. Eliphaz sounds like he's a dick, too. I mean, he just doesn't know, maybe. He's I, like, I, God, you know, God. Okay, but here's my thing. Job lost his kids, yeah. his ten kids, his slaves, which, okay, that's gross, and his livestock. Right. And now he's covered in boils, and his friends came to sit with him for a week, and the first time one of them speaks up, it's to rebuke him. I didn't get everything that the dude was saying, but I'm like, whatever, fuck you, right? Eliphaz. Right. Yeah. Go away. Right. All right. So, oh, well, I mean, I guess you could look at that as something else that they're doing bad to him. He's, he's losing his friend's confidence, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So yeah, exactly. That. Also, his wife wants to kill him or wants him to kill himself. But that was a couple chapters ago. Was it? I don't remember that. Was she like, she just She was like, died. just died. Yeah. Yeah. You don't oh, remember that? No. There's so much that happened to Job that right? I forgot. And we're only four chapters in. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that was Job chapter 4. Sure as fuck was. And today we're going to be reading... Job chapter 5. All right, let's go do this. Okie dokie. Okay, Job chapter 5. Okay. And um, Job is still being rebuked by Eliphaz. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Call if you will, says Eliphaz. But who will answer you? Right. Yeah. Who will answer you? You don't have phones yet. Right. So (laughs) who are you going to (laughs) call? You were supposed to say Ghostbusters. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Those guys. Yeah. Them Mm -hmm. guys. Okay. To which of the holy ones will you turn? There's more than one. Wait. Is he talking about priests or like who's the holy ones? It's not specific. Got it. Who okay. are holy ones? I'm assuming he must mean priests, not gods. Right, because the yeah, you wouldn't mention gods. I mean, they have in the past. Unless, unless he's like, you know, which one? Maybe, maybe. They, I mean, they do. There are multiple gods back then. Mm-hmm. So maybe it is a question as to which god he'll turn to. That's but I'm, true. I'm that's true. But he probably, probably like means priests. priests. Yeah. yeah. Resentment kills a fool, and envy slays the simple. I myself have seen a fool taking root. But suddenly his house was cursed. 
His children are far from safety, crushed in court without a defender. Jesus. The hungry consume his harvest, taking it even from among thorns, and the thirsty pant after his wealth. Hmm. He is not being a good friend. I'm no, sorry. No. He's like saying, get a hold of yourself. It could be worse, and maybe you are the worst. Maybe, and yeah. You kind of deserve this shit. I, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. This guy's... Okay. I don't like him. I I'm would, not a great I would friend. be like, you're uninvited. Like, shut the fuck up, man. Yeah. For hardship does not spring from the soil. There it is. Mm. Trouble. You yeah. Brought, you brought it on yourself. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Nor does trouble sprout from the ground. Yeah, bad luck just never, ever happens. It's always because you... you there was a plan. It was, it's because you did something wrong. It's both a plan and it's your fault. Right. It's, it's your fault... Which is what made it be in the plan. Right, right. The plan that was already there in place. I find that the people calling out people, they're usually the ones that are the worst. They are such assholes. You know? I hate them. Yeah. Ugh. Yet man is born to trouble as surely as sparks fly upward. Bad luck happens, but bad luck doesn't happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You get me? Yeah. You feel me? Mm, yeah. But if I were you, he continues... I would appeal to God. He's saying you should just pray. Right. Even though God's a dick and, you know, you are somebody that brought this shit on yourself somehow, even though you were upright. Sure. Um, you should appeal to God. Right. Who is a dick. Right. But not a dick, but a dick. Yeah. Got it. Okay. I would lay my cause before him. He performs wonders that cannot be fathomed. I, I have fathomed all of them. <laughs> Miracles that cannot be counted. I counted them. Right. Yeah. I mean, I forgot how many, but if I went back and sure, read. Sure, we could count them. They're counted. Yeah. yeah. they're countable. He provides rain for the earth. Does mm. he, though? I mean, hypothetically, in the God world, sure. Okay, but there's droughts, so. Right, but he also does those for, remember, those are for reasons. It's oh, not just because it's droughty. It's droughty. <laughs> nice. He sends water on the countryside. Okay. The lowly he sets on high, and those who mourn are lifted to safety. Right. He's mourning, and he's you not just, been lifted. You, he you got just, boils. He's got to grovel to God, that's all. I guess. Right. He thwarts the plans of the crafty. Now, that I know is untrue. Right. Because there's a lot of crafty fucks running around um, our politics right now. Oh, no, my God, And they are yeah. crafty AF. Right. And they are not being thwarted. I can't help but think of the Beastie Boys song whenever you uh, whenever you say crafty. Crafty. She's crafty. Yeah. Yeah. So that their hands achieve no success. False. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He catches the wise in their craftiness, and the schemes of the wily are swept away. Mm. Wily, crafty. Wise. They're wise and wily and crafty. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. And and they always get caught. I, Eliphaz is kind of boring. I hate Eliphaz. You know? like, shut up, Eliphaz. Go away. Yeah. Darkness comes upon them in the daytime. At noon, they grope as in the night. No, they don't. Okay. They, the worse you are, the faster you rise to the top, and we all hate them. Seems to be the way. Aw, somebody wants to be part of the poodle cast. Aw, hi, Cagney. He saves the needy from the sword in their mouth. He saves them from the clutches of... Of the powerful. Mm. So the poor have hope. That's why people have slaves back then, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's why that happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the poor have hope and injustice shuts its mouth. Mm. Shut your mouth. Right. Blessed is the one whom God corrects. Okay. okay. So do not despise the discipline of the Almighty. Always be glad when bad things befall you. That trouble that you brought on yourself. No. <laughs> you were just so like mm -mm. for he wounds but he also binds up he gives you the cancer but then he also cures you except but he doesn't, he doesn't yeah. though he injures but his hands also heal really because i know people that are dead <laughs> right well I, he chose those that one kid remember that they laid over mm, and he yeah. saved that kid yeah he died and he came back mm-hmm yeah. But he didn't save any of the babies I miscarried, and he and didn't save my best friend's baby. Right, right, right. But he's he's oftentimes, you know, as long as they send an army out to help him, 
He's he saved the Israelites, maybe sometimes, sometimes sort of now and again, kind of when he feels like it. Part of the army, yeah, over there. If somebody doesn't have the wrong statue in their backpack, right? I mean, I'm just saying this whole thing. <laughs> From six calamities, he will rescue you. In seven, no harm will touch you. This is such blathering bullshit. Yeah, it really is. In famine, he will deliver you from death and in battle from the stroke of the sword. This is such bullshit. Yeah. This is lies and nonsense, and it's making me angry. (laughs) You will be protected from the lash of the tongue and need not fear when destruction comes. So the fact that you just lost your ten children... Ah, fuck it. Right. You're fine. Yeah. Whatevs. Stop being mad about it. Right. You will laugh at destruction and famine. I I won't, though. And need not fear the wild animals. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Hold on a second. No, this is is where, you know that there's an entire, like, there there was, I don't know if it still exists, but I know that there was, like, a, a guy, at least, if not an entire, like, cultish sect of Christianity where they thought they could uh, stand in front of lions and, and be okay. Stand in the place that you Didn't are with lions. Didn't work out so well for them, from I, what I understood. I bet not. Yeah. Okay, I just watched this cute video on YouTube about these people that, um, like, surprising wild animals were kind yeah. and loving or whatever. Right. But those are anomalies. There's a reason that those videos are popular. It's because it's not commonplace. Right. Right? Like, if it was commonplace, okay, that's not necessarily true because cats are adorable and that's commonplace. And I don't care how many videos of cats I see being adorable. Right. I I always have room for one more. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I just proved my own self wrong. Okay, but still, I'm here to tell you guys, please fear wild animals. Yeah, don't don't go up up to them and assume that... God's going to protect you. He won't. He won't. He won't. You'll probably be mauled or dead. Yeah. The wild animals will be wild animals at you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't trust. Porcupines will shoot their quills at you. Yeah. Skunks will make you stink. Mm Mm-hmm. And lions will fucking eat you. And um, crocodiles and alligators will roll you. Mm. And then. And then eat you. Eat you. (laughs) And snakes will swallow you. I mean, I don't know any snakes in this area that would swallow us. Okay, but, but there are places where the snakes are huge and they right. will fucking swallow you. Yeah. Especially, I mean, if you're little. Yeah. You know, yeah. Swallow your for baby. Sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For you will have a covenant with the stones of the field. Hey, Stone, I got a covenant with you. Would you mind getting your legs and walking off my mm. field? Mm hmm. Because I have a covenant with you, you yeah, stone. Right. Get out my cornfield, would you? <laughs> and the wild animals will be at peace with you. No, we've already discussed that. Well, yeah, that's that. not true. No. You will know that your tent is secure. <laughs> your tent. <laughs> did you did you erect a tent? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I knew, I knew where that was going. Anytime there's a tent Anytime and it's a erected. Tent. Yeah. It didn't say erected. It I said, said erected. Yeah, I know you did. I cannot think of a tent without it being erected. I, I know you can't. Because I'm a child. You are. Do you love me? <laughs> I do. <laughs> you will know that your tent is secure. Yes. You will take stock of your property and find nothing missing. Nothing. Nothing Not missing. A damn thing. This is bullshit right here. This is definitely bullshit. Yeah. We have things missing. I can tell you that we right now. We are not godly, remember? Well, we are heathens. That yeah, is true. Yeah, I'm just saying. We don't have, like, if there was a god, mm-hmm. we are definitely not in his favor. Okay, so you're telling me that Christians never lose shit? No, I call bullshit. I on call that. bullshit. Yeah. You will know that your children will be many, except for, you know, there are some people who are barren and right. so want they won't children be. And, and can't have them. Yeah. And don't qualify for adoption or for whatever reason. But again, Eliphaz, Eliphaz, Eliphaz covered this earlier. If you are barren or something like that, you, you obviously, it on yeah, obviously. What if you are churchy and great and good and upright, but you don't want kids? Well, then they must be doing a repeat of Job. Oh God, I hate this. I don't know. You will know that your children will be many, and your descendants like the grass of the earth. The grass, not the sands not of the, the star. sea. Not the, yeah, not the stars, not the sands. Not the stars in the sky the grass or the sands now. on the beach. No. If you're in a desert, there's not much grass. Mm-hmm, that's so, true. That's true. I mean, it just depends on where. If you're in the ocean, there's definitely no grass. 
That is true. Yeah. But nobody here lives in the ocean. No, they don't. They don't. So, but I mean, that was silly. I feel like there's less grass than there is sand or stars, though. Right. So like maybe they're were... becoming a little bit more realistic. Okay. Because I, I was thinking, like, they're getting lesser. They're taking infinity down a notch. Right. Yeah. Like, calm your tits, eternity. Right. 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 You will come to the grave in full vigor, like sheaves gathered in season. Mm. Okay. So you're going to dance to death. I, You're going to be I like, do, do, do. I'm a happy, happy guy. I'm about to die. Happy, happy guy. I'm about, oh. <laughs> and then you're done. But you died happy. Sure. And he continues, we have examined this and it is true. So hear it and apply it to yourself. The end. They have examined it and it is true. Huh? That's some science for you. That's science. I. That is not I anecdotal. Th- something. Now, and how many how many people do you think were part of his um, um, pool? You know what I mean? Like when he you, himself and I. He himself and I. Not my not my, not my eye, eye. His eye. His his eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, you have to have a good sample pool from which to draw, or else your results are tainted and stupid. And yes, I said taint. I <laughs> I think most of their results were tainted and stupid back then. Okay. So Okay. Yeah. Well, that chapter was dumb. It was just more Eliphaz blowing. Yeah, I don't like Eliphaz. He he's needs, he's he an needs asshole. to quit. This cannot. Okay, Job is forty-two chapters long. Right. And I cannot stand if Eliphaz goes off for the next like thirty of them. See, here's the thing. I mean, he's he's going on about how God's great, and you need to like you know give Get it to God, God and all that kind of crap, right? <laughs> but like, I was expecting like this is a test of Job, right? Who mm-hmm. give a fuck about his friend? Right. Why isn't Job just understanding this on his own it's not really passing the test if you have help right 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 like, he's not just doing this on his own somebody like this guy's so going he failed on, he failed going on for eons about two chapters shit. so far right yeah so basically job failed the test i mean that's i mean he hasn't specifically cursed god yet but like we said no but god was else. like god was like he'll be fine he's totally good he, he's not fine he he's is not fine he, is he lost not all good. his goddamn kids and he he cursed his birth right he cursed his mom. He cursed the day he was born. He wanted to change the calendar and get that day off. Right. I mean, he's not fine. He's not good right now. I just wonder how much more of this crap from Eliphaz. El- 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 Eliphaz. Eliphaz. Jesus Christ. Elephant? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, how much more of this crap we have to endure from him. Me too. Like, I'm getting a little sick of it. He's just too much. He really is. He really is. I don't I wish. I don't even know what to say about it. It's just. I wish whoa. Joe would deck him. Honestly. That would be that would be the ideal situation, right? There, I think. Yeah. Okay, like my best friend when her baby died, um, she had several friends after a month tell her that she needed to move on and quit Ooh. grieving. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck you, Eliphaz like friends. Right. right. Yeah. Like when I had more than one miscarriage, I was told the same thing. And I who the fuck are you that does that? Stop doing that, you guys. Right. Don't tell people how long is okay to grieve. You don't know. Right. You know what? If you only take a few days to grieve, that is, that is great. I, I think there's something wrong with you maybe, but I'm not going to be like, you should grieve longer. Right. You really need to keep grieving. Everybody heals at their own pace. Right. So, so get off each other. Stop telling each other that you're you're not, you're grieving too long. There is no such thing as too long. Right, right. Cool. Anyway. Eliphaz sucks. Eliphaz sucks. That was Job chapter five. Sure as fuck was. And tomorrow we will be back yes. with what? Um, Q&A Saturday. That is right. And we're going to look up Leviathan and we're going to figure out some Eliphaz stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like and who the fuck does he well, think yeah, he I mean, is? We need to figure out what the fuck. I mean, we kind of get the gist of what Eliphaz is saying. He's a twat. We still want to look it up just sure. to kind of, you know. In, in British lingo, sure. he's a right cunt. <laughs> On that note, we will see you guys tomorrow. Yep, bye. Hey, wife, I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. 
Ooh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye. Today Tix is your one-stop shop for theater tickets with the best prices on tickets to Broadway and beyond. Today Tix has Broadway tickets up to 40% off which makes it easier than ever to see that show you've always wanted to see or discover something you'll love just as much. Book your tickets in advance or even day of if you're feeling spontaneous. Visit todaytix.com slash comedy ticks or download the Today Ticks app today and get $20 off your first purchase with code comedy ticks.